Valerie's a second year graduate, graduated in 2018. And just tell us what the Lord's doing. Praise the Lord. I'm excited today because when God gives you a vision, hang on to it. No matter the contrary winds that come to blow you off track. So three years I've been pregnant with this vision. One of the conferences I came to, the goal was, for my goal was to fund the end time harvest. It wasn't to buy another pair of shoes or buy another purse or buy another car, but to fund the end time harvest. So I was doing all I could do to do that. I emptied my bank account and I said, God, there it is. So when this business was birthed into my spirit, I set out to do that. I've never done this before. I knew about it. It's a group home that I was to start with children with various levels of disability to be Medicaid funded and that kind of thing. So I had bought a house and I converted it. That was a long process. I was discouraged. I cried, but I surrounded myself with people who could encourage me. I came to KBF and Pastor Tony, um, he helped me to tweak my business plan and I would come in because I work nights so I couldn't always come so whenever I'd come I would have to ask for two hours extra to come in late so that I could plug in. <clears throat> the point I'm making friends is when you hear God you have to stick to the plan no matter what contrary winds come. So yesterday I had the pleasure of opening Joy House. Wow. <laughs> Pastor Shannon came and my goal was always to win souls. I had a birthday party in December, and it was a soul winning birthday party. So I said to him, do an altar call. Most of the friends were Christians, but I didn't know where one person stood. So he gave a great word, shared. It was a wonderful occasion. And then I watched her. Then afterward, I went up to this friend. She was somebody whom I had ministered to with another Bible school student a year ago when her husband was dying. We went, took communion from church, gave him communion, led him to the Lord, and the following week, he died. So I was targeting this, this um, co-worker for a long time. So she came to support me. And her words in her text was, I came to support you never knowing that I would have been supported. My heart has been healed. Pastor Shannon was leaving when we were talking to her and he came back and said, are you sick? And she said, I don't know. Anyway, we prayed for her and that was when she broke. And then she sent me that text last night to say she's healed. So the point I'm making is hold on to what God has told you, no matter what is going on. So Joy House is now licensed for six clients. It's a beautiful home. The peace of God is there. Already souls are being healed and delivered. And so we look to God now to send in the clients. I've asked him to hide these clients from me. No, I'm saying, God, reveal them now. I've had a friend who is a registered nurse who the Lord spoke to to come down from New York to come and support me so God is already sending in the workers and to God be the glory I thank God for KBF I thank God for this church for the word but you have to hold on to the word that you can receive the promise amen phenomenal